Good morning, viewers. Well, I tell you, it just doesn't pay for me to start feeling braggadocious, you know? Seems like every time somebody says, oh, Bill, wow, is that cool? And I go, uh-huh, yeah, sure is. And then something goes wrong. That's, uh, let's see. Well, twice this week, um, friends of mine from California, uh, Chad, guy used to work with me, uh, he, uh, He's got property here, and he's been working on it now for some time. He'd been gone throughout the whole COVID thing. Well, anyway, he uh, he showed up over here uh, in the evening at my gate, and well, I I usually close the gate uh, during dinner. He he came up to the gate and he saw it was closed, and so he got on his cell phone. He gave me a jingle in the house, and well, I saw him out there, and so I knew he was coming. And I clicked the button, and the gate opened right in front of him. And he was like. Ooh, ah, magic. Yeah, boy, they were way impressed because he's got a gate, too, similar to mine, but he has to open his in the rain by hand. Uh, he doesn't have an automatic gate opener that is remote and can do it from the house, you know. Uh, so he was mighty impressed. Uh, that happened twice in the last week, both times. Boy, oh, boy, I wish I had a gate like that. That just seemed for some reason... Somebody was watching one of my old videos here that had to do with the gate. Uh, and so uh, she was asking me, well, Bill, who is it that put that in there for you? I said, well, that was me. <laughs> and, of course, there would have been a time where I'd have said, yeah, okay, I got a job. But I don't need the work. I don't want the work. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with it. Uh, so I just told her, you know, what I used and where to get the pieces and so on. So... Uh, hopefully <laughs> she's able to find somebody you know who can help her install one of these they're not hard now the main reason I'm out here this morning is because Ellen went ahead grabbed the controller from the house this morning and was going to come on out with Gracie and pick up the newspaper here at the curb she pushed the button nothing happened oh boy so I said well give me that thing sometimes the, the button doesn't quite hit, you know. So I tried it. Mm-mm. No good. I said, well, maybe the battery's wasted. So I went to the car, I got another one of the controllers, and I clicked it. Ugh, nothing. Ugh. I took both the controllers. I walked right down to the front gate. I went click, 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 click. Nothing. I went, oh, man. So I'm thinking to myself, what's logical here? This thing runs off a solar panel right here. Yeah, uh, and uh, it's got a just plain old 12 volt car battery wired up to it down there. It's been raining and raining and raining and raining around here. Now this has never failed to charge since I put it on a few years ago, but who knows, right? So I got the car, I drove out here, and uh, I went ahead and put a set of jumper cables on it. Mm -mm, nothing. Oh boy, it's worse than that. Well, so I went ahead and I opened up the box right here. Since I had put jumper cables on and it didn't activate anything, I had to make the assumption that it wasn't a problem with the battery and there probably wasn't anything wrong with the solar panel. I walked around once and I checked all the wires to make sure that the mower guys hadn't hit them with a weed whacker or something and no, nope, wires are good. And the battery itself was even clean in here. I found two cokey frogs. One got away, the other one got it. But uh, you know, other than that, the battery was even clean. So I had only one other thing I can do. I opened up the box, suspecting that maybe it had gotten wet. It had rained and rained and rained and rained and rained, and maybe it had breached. So when I opened it up, I found what I probably should have suspected. Ants. Ants drawn to stray voltage. Um, yeah, the, this box is very well sealed. Okay. But down at the bottom over there where the wires run in, they didn't have any grommets or anything. So the wires are loose going in the bottom of the box. And so it, since it's on the bottom, the rain isn't going to come in, but it allowed the ants to head inward. Um, now, those of you who are not aware of this, Ants are drawn to stray voltage. 
Uh, stray voltage is where you may have a little bit of dirt and moisture on a circuit and you get this little bit of electricity that moves around that's not where it's supposed to be. It should be going up the wires, right? But because there's a, another route, a little bit of it gets loose. Well, that little bit is for ants candy. It's like cocaine. Once they get going on stray voltage, they'll touch it with their little antennas and stuff, and it buzzes them. And a lot of times they won't do anything else. It's pretty weird. Yeah, they get addicted to it. Now, this system runs on 12 volts, but I've seen them in 110 volt circuits in California uh, in the nursery. They'd get inside the, the switch boxes. They'd be drawn to the stray voltage from the moisture and the dirt that got in there, and eventually they start dying because they don't eat when they do this. They're hooked, okay? They're on crack. And so they just keep piling up and piling up and piling up and piling up until ah, all of a sudden a circuit breaker blows. You open up the box, what do you find? Piles of dead ants and some living ones. Um, they, it shorts on the bodies of the ants and on the debris they move in in the water and so on. Um, well, that's exactly what happened here. Yep, uh, they had shorted the box. Luckily, I got to it in time, and I was able to clean it all up, and it turned around and started working again. Sometimes the ants will mess your circuit up so bad that they uh, uh, that you have to throw it out. You have to start over again. Um, this was good, and I was very pleased because the box is not cheap. Uh, yeah, that's the whole controller brain. Like I said, this... Uh, <laughs> Getting cameras wet around here has cost me too much money. Uh, they're sensitive to all this rain, so I'm back inside here in my nice dry spot, and I'm going to stay here. Um, so there you have a video about uh, automatic gate openers, stray voltage, and the ants. <laughs> Hang loose.